It was an unexpected and unwanted surprise. One minute, I was looking at a beautiful woman. The next, she had transformed into a wolfman hybrid. I'm not sure if I can accurately describe how it felt. I don't know if I can explain what was happening to me. Perhaps it was similar to what some people experience when they first watch an alien movie. You're never quite sure what to expect. The only thing you can be sure of is that something strange and out of the ordinary is going on. It was like that for me, except instead of aliens, I was dealing with a werewolf. It was as if I was in the midst of a waking dream. My first instinct was to run, but that would be impossible. I was locked up in a tiny cell in the middle of nowhere, and I had nowhere to run to. As much as my mind wanted to, it was powerless to fight back. That's how it felt. I was powerless to stop what was happening. The woman began to growl as she walked toward me. Her hands and feet became clawed, and her eyes turned yellow. She was becoming a monster. My heart began to race as I backed away from the door. I had no idea what to do. I was so scared that I couldn't even scream. Then everything seemed to slow down as if time had been stopped in its tracks. As the woman approached, I felt as though I were in a dream. I was stuck. There was nothing I could do. I couldn't move or speak or cry out for help. It was as though I were watching myself from a distance, and I was powerless to stop what was happening to me. I don't know how long the transformation took, but I'm sure it only took seconds. All at once, the woman's features transformed. Her clothes ripped and fell away as her skin turned white and hairy. She looked more like a bear than a person. She roared and then bit me on the cheek, breaking the skin and causing me to bleed. I fell backward onto the floor as the beast bit into my cheek. I was crying hysterically and couldn't seem to make a sound as she lifted me by my shirt and threw me onto the bed. I rolled onto my side and curled up into a ball. As she jumped on top of me, I tried to scoot away, but she was too heavy. I couldn't move, and there was no escape. Where are your friends? She growled as she pinned me down with her full weight. Are they all gone? I was too afraid to answer. She had just bitten me on the cheek and was now sitting on my chest. I didn't know if I could survive another attack, and I knew if she realized that her friends were gone, she would kill me. The monster grabbed my shoulders and forced me onto my back. Do you think I care about you? You're nothing but a human whore. No! No, please! Do you think that I'm going to let you live after you've defiled my brother? She said. Your punishment is going to be death. No! No! Please! The monster reached for her belt and pulled out a hunting knife. Then I. No! I begged as the blade came down toward my face. Please. The knife missed my face and instead cut into my hand. Blood began to drip from my palm, staining the bed sheets red. The monster stood up and grabbed my neck with one hand and my right hand with the other. She squeezed my neck as she slowly lowered the blade toward my face. She was so heavy that my arms went limp beneath her and I could no longer fight back. I closed my eyes, hoping for mercy, but all I heard was the dull thump as the knife hit my throat. I opened my eyes to see the monster leaning over me. Blood was pouring from the wound in my neck as she held my hand up in front of me, using it to steady herself as she slowly drove the blade toward my face. I was screaming and screaming as I struggled to get free. All I wanted to do was live, but I knew that death was coming for me. The monster leaned over me, pushing down with all her weight as she held me in place with one arm while she cut my face open with the other. The last thing I remember seeing was the ceiling as the world around me grew dark.